the recent um, excitement, I suppose, of the of the of the Mario Kart 8 release, and also the previous sort of releases that have come out fairly recently. Releases, yeah. Um, <laughs> shall I start again? No, no, I won't start again. In in the in the excitement of the of the recent releases that have been released. <laughs> um, I completely forgot about this this new Xbox 360 shooter game. Yeah, lo and behold, stop the press. Stop the press. A new Xbox 360 shooter has been released in Japan. Um, and it is... Christ, I think it's Bullet Soul. Oh, this is terrible. This shows how bad I am. I think it's Bullet Soul. Um, uh, Infinite Burst. And that's the game there, that's the game case there. This was actually sent to me by uh, Video Game Imports on, I think he got the stock in on Thursday of last week, sent it to me out, sent it out to me on the Friday, and I received it on the Saturday. I haven't even plugged it into the Xbox yet, um, and I thought I would do that on this video and just give you my brief sort of overview of comments as I'm playing the game. Um, I, can't, I can't even remember, and this is embarrassing, I can't even remember what what uh, what Bullet Soul was like, because this is the this is the the uh, the continuation of the original Bullet Soul. Uh, this being Bullet Soul um, uh, Infinite Burst. I don't think they've changed it horrendously, it, but looking at the screenshots on the back of the uh, case, it does look pretty funky. Uh, and I think it was the reason why I pre-ordered it. But a lot of most of these uh, Xbox 360 games, they appear to come up pre-order quite early, um, uh, quite ahead of the release date. And this has already been uh, put back, I think, by at least a month or two months. So again, I'm going to cut the um, cut the crap. Yeah, I'm going to cut the crap. Not cut, not cut to the crap. I'm going to cut the crap. Get straight on to actually plugging it straight into my Xbox 360 and and let you guys know what it looks like. So here we have Bullet Soul Infinite Burst on the um, on the Japanese Xbox 360, and the actual game itself is is region free. So if you want to play it on a power machine. You're more than welcome. And as per usual with these types of um, uh, sort of overview or sort of gameplay videos with regards to Xbox 360 games, I've got the Xbox 360, Japanese Xbox 360 in this case, uh, connected up to my Sega Naomi cab for that full on arcade experience. So it's in full tape mode, as you can perhaps see by the, the angle or the, well not the angle, the ratio, sorry, of the screen. Um, uh, just quickly about the game itself, I, I have um, had a couple of plays on the game uh, uh, since doing the initial part of the video. Um, a sort of, uh, well I've had two plays on, on what's called burst mode and one play on normal mode. And what you're able to do as part of the game is actually record the um, and the playthrough that you do so you can replay it back and I thought that was the easiest way of doing this because I can actually relax a bit when I'm talking to you and I haven't got a camera peering over my shoulder or taking up a decent viewing angle so again you should be able to get a decent view angle now uh, on the video and of course I can talk a little bit more uh, perhaps that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, but as regards to the actual gameplay so I'm going to show you two replays um, uh, one for normal mode initially and then the second uh, part of the replay will be of the burst mode. Now, something that's worth saying, this game is... <laughs> it will blow your brains. You don't need to be on drugs. And if you ever thought of going on to drugs, don't bother. Just watch or play this game. It is... <laughs> certainly in the burst mode, it is absolutely manic. And just going back and just... Uh, watching the replay again in normal mode it is it is unbelievable to watch it it's like it it's a it it, it has to be the uh, the most uh, psychedelic shooter i've ever ever played 
it looks stunning, it really does. And it plays really well actually. It, it does play really well. The difficulty level on the on the normal mode is is fairly easy going. Um, uh, burst mode is just absolutely manic, um, in my opinion. Uh, you find yourself going all over the screen, but you'll I, I suppose you'll see that in normal mode as well. Anyway, let me get to it. So we'll choose a replay. And like I said, this is normal mode. And there's only one there, so we'll just get straight into it. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the scoring mechanic or the gaming mechanic. Uh, know a bit more about the burst mode, but like I said, this is normal mode. So this, is, this looks fairly familiar to people. You're doing your training. Uh, you've got your power-ups. Now, I suppose when you look at the game there, it, it, it looks quite sort of normal fair, doesn't it, really? But it does start to heat up a bit, certainly when you start to collect more of your power-ups, as you'll see, sort of as you progress a bit more, and, and the screen too. It, it, I was playing it and I was thinking, Jesus, I don't know where to go here. I'm just like all over the place. I'm, you know, I'm trying to dodge budget, uh, bullets and, and it, it, it. We start to sort of heat up a little bit here. Uh, nothing major. Uh, just shot off my my, uh, my sort of bomb, uh, special weapon. And you got a free shot um, a variety. You've got a normal shot, uh, which if you keep the button pressed, it um, sort of slows your ship down really, but gives you the most maximum uh, power you can get without firing your bomb off. And then you've got another shot which is um, which is classed as auto fire, and it's, it enables your ship to move around a lot quicker, but uh, you don't get as hard a hit on your shot, and then of course you've got the bomb. So I'll shut up for a while now, and I'll just let you uh, uh, get spaced out in the in the psychedelic uh, representation that is Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. because it, it, it's, it's quite obvious I haven't played the Xbox 360 for some time on this setup because when you go to a sort of 29-inch vertical screen and, you, and you're effectively sitting on top of it uh, as you are with an arcade cabinet, it, it, it's, it does take a bit of getting used to actually. I mean, you find yourself moving your head around rather than just your eyes because the screen's that big and it's because I'm not, I, I haven't played it for several months now. I, I can't remember the last time I played the Xbox 360 on this uh, arcade cabinet. It certainly takes a fair bit of the game from from your sort of, I suppose really your cave style games really, certainly as regards to the, the, the sort of bullet hell nature of it. Uh, definitely in a normal mode. So it's fairly straightforward to get through at uh, stage one. But some of the shot patterns here, it, it just looks absolutely great. You know, these psychedelic colours and of course all the sort of massive explosion you got on the screen. And I was starting to think, right, okay, where am I on the screen? And I was getting slightly lost. Yeah, one of the nice things about this mechanic is, is that all the bullets do cancel themselves once you uh, and once you kill the offending uh, alien that's 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 hoofing all the bullets out at you. Well, of course, you've got all these sort of shadows or sort of traces from the 
uh, from the enemy bullets and and that can distract you to begin with until obviously you realize that anything that is a, is a sort of shadow or a, or a gray area is um, is literally just a shadow of the bullet or a trace of the bullet really it's not going to do any harm but again i mean it's getting i think it's the colors of how it, it it's so vivid now hopefully it'll come over on the on the um on the video footage but it it, it i think it looks absolutely amazing i really do so so colorful especially on this on this 29 inch crt I've got the SLG 3000 actually hooked up um, onto this, you probably can't tell on the video footage, but, but uh, uh, not that it needs it. We just add a little bit more to the game, I think. Not that you're looking at the scan lines when you're trying to play this game. I certainly found this is a bit more relaxed, even though it probably doesn't look it from the replay, but a bit more relaxed in the bullet mode, uh, which I'll show you uh, straight after this one. But, but uh, perhaps it was because I've just got in, because actually the bullet mode is the, uh, is the default mode in the game when you come to uh, start the game off, so that's naturally the first one that I started or played with. I think perhaps if I go back to the bullet mode again now after playing normal mode I'll be a bit more used to it. it it's perhaps it was just me thinking Christ this is like absolutely crazy this is but it certainly is uh is drug inducing this game it's well not drug inducing you but well, well I don't know perhaps you'd want some drugs after this game to actually calm yourself down. Right so that's the uh, that's normal mode on burst mode again from what I can remember playing it um, uh, you haven't got any lives on burst mode you basically have one life and you've got an energy meter like I said here you actually uh, go around and chain coins again from what I uh, sort of gather and you pretty much jump straight into sort of uh, mini bosses I think collecting the coins as well makes it a bit more manic because you've got to, it, it, it's, you're sort of diving around the screen trying to collect all the coins and missing uh, all the enemy shots. Now you don't have any power ups for this game so you basically start off with the full whack power. Now what I've done there is I've let off the, the bomb and it, it's, it's increased the value of the coins that come down. Run on the timer, it's just about to run out, which it has done there. Actually, looking at it now, certainly after playing the normal mode, it doesn't seem that manic, but actually, considering I've got mashed a hell of a lot earlier, perhaps it is manic. So, guys, that's a very quick uh, sort of awareness and a very quick insight really into the game. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll speak to you again soon.